In this equation, we have tetraphosphorus decoxide plus water, and that's combining in a synthesis or a combination reaction to make phosphoric acid. Let's count the atoms up and balance the equation. We have four phosphorus atoms. We have 10 oxygen atoms. Don't forget this oxygen out here. That gives us 11, and then we have two hydrogen atoms. On the product side, we have the one phosphorus, four oxygens, and then three hydrogen atoms. It's probably easier to leave the oxygen and hydrogen atoms to last and deal with this phosphorus here. If we put a four in front of the phosphoric acid, we would have three times four, that's the hydrogens. So three times four, that gives us 12 of those. Phosphorus, one times the four, that'll give us four phosphorus atoms. That's what we were trying to fix. So the phosphorus atoms, those are balanced. And then the oxygen, four times four, that'll give us 16 oxygen atoms. It seems like the easiest thing to try to fix next is the hydrogens, because if we put a six in front of the H2O, that would fix the hydrogens, it might even balance the oxygens. So we have two times six, that'll give us 12. Let's update the oxygen atoms. We have 10 oxygen atoms here, plus we have one times the six, so that did fix the oxygens, and we're done. This equation is balanced. The key here, probably leave the oxygens and hydrogens till last and balance the phosphorus atoms first. The other thing to watch out for is you have this oxygen here, 10 of them, but remember there's an oxygen over here you have to deal with. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for P4O10 plus H2O yields H3PO4. Thanks for watching.